Today on the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries, we'll join Wade as he hunts the Texas Hill Country in hopes of encountering a big whitetail buck. And then later, we'll join back up with Wade where he's guiding with Tony Neely as they go rattling during the rut. We'll begin this episode in the Texas Hill Country as Wade heads out to a pond dam for a morning hunt. It's a great feeling when you get in side by side, your ATV and you're heading out, you camp, you don't know what you're gonna see, you don't know what you're gonna encounter. You know, it's like, it's just a cool feeling. It gives me goosebumps still every time I go. Facing back to being a little kid. This morning we're gonna go set up on a pond and uh, you can, you'll be able to see the drought, man. It's, it's uh, been really dry where we're gonna be hunting. The pond's kind of sucked down, but we're hunting the drain that kind of comes into the pond and uh, off to the sides of it. So we should see some really, really good deer activity this morning as we get set up. Because of the drought conditions in the area, Wade teamed up with the guys at Record Rack a few days before to have them come out and assess the pond dam to see what they could do to attract the deer to the area. What we got here is a hunting set on a tank dam, and we've obviously got water that deer are naturally coming to, but the problem is we've got nine million acorn trees out here and there's just a blanket of acorns under them. So what do we do? How do we get deer in front of this blind? We know they're gonna to come to water, but they can come to water anytime. So let's try and find something that we know deer are gonna eat. And these are the products that we have. So we've got deer blocks, we've got Record Rack Golden Deer Nuggets, and we've got our mineral. And you know, a lot of people always say, well, hey, which one's the best? If it was me, deer like to have choices, I'm gonna put them all out there. Cause you never know, some deer might wanna come after the salt, some deer might wanna come after a block, some deer might want to be able to pick a bunch of stuff up and they want this. So uh, the best thing to do is give them options. If you're going to use it, the, you know, they're all berry flavored. They can smell this stuff from a mile away. So what I like to do is just position them in different spots. I don't want to put them all right next to each other. Like I don't want a deer block next to a mineral pile next to a bunch of deer nuggets. I want it scattered completely around. So a good way, I mean, this is somewhere that uh, I, I believe they're going to hunt here in the next day or two. Uh, but it wouldn't surprise me to have deer on this stuff tonight. So Bobby, I'm gonna stick the block over here on the other side. Yeah, I think where you got that trail coming in right there and then where this trail is right here. That'll work. I'm gonna put our mineral on a little bit of a higher spot. That yeah. way, you know, this mineral can last a little while. So it's always good. I like to have spots like this where we baited with corn first so we know we got deer coming to it. They'll smell this berry from a long ways off. But uh, once they're coming to it and they get on this mineral, they're gonna keep coming to it till it's gone. So this, this is a pretty good transition for the block here. We're gonna put it a little bit further away from the water, just in case pigs and deer get to rolling around. We really don't want it to get off in the water and soak up everything and get runt. So get the plastic off here. <clears throat> well, that smells good. And that's it, it's ready to go. Found you a good spot? I think it's gonna work pretty good. I don't think we need to be very scientific about it. I mean, we know deer are gonna come into this spot. I say just get it all the way around it so they, they can't help but find it. Cause like I said, they're gonna, once they find this stuff, they're not leaving until they get it all gone. So I would just kind of scatter it around basically just like we got a big feeder. If there's any deer in this county, I know where they're gonna be at. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna be at this tanks where they're gonna be. 
When we return, we'll join back up with Wade as he waits for the sun to rise on the pond dam. The Yamaha Whitetail Diaries is brought to you by Yamaha's proven off-road ATVs and side-by-side -side vehicles. Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's, your adventure starts here. Garmin Zero, leave the guesswork behind. Before the road trips, the cool mornings, the hot cast iron, the short nights, and the long cast. There's one stop that you can't afford to miss. It's time to gear up and camp out at Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Save on all your camping essentials, in store and online. Your adventure starts here. Inside every Yamaha lives the heart and soul of a competitor the DNA of a champion. When you ride with us, it revs your heart and becomes a part of you too. Welcome back to the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries with Wade Middleton. Wade has settled into a pop-up blind for a morning hunt on a pond dam and as expected, he's spotting deer before the sun has even fully finished rising. I hadn't found any blood. I 
I think he broke this tree off right here though, running. It's all fresh. <laughs> wow, we didn't find hardly any blood, but we watched him run. I'm gonna backtrack in just a second, but he's piled up right there. I, you, that's, <laughs> you're, I mean, you never know until you grab him, but I knew. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at this deer. Golly, I didn't see a couple of these little things that are on this deer. Then load this. Now I get to shaking and spinning things and going every direction as possible. Look at this buck. God, what a hill country buck. Wow. Wow. Look at those, look at these kickers off of his G2s. Is that not cool? I mean, that's just some serious character right there. He's a, he's, I mean, he's a mainframe 10, what most people would call, but he's really got, uh, got 12 points there. And he tried to grow another point right there, but look at this, look at his main beam right here, how it kicks up here. This one kind of makes that traditional deal. But look at that, and he's got an extra tine right there. Wow, what great brow tines. I mean, I'm telling y'all, that is a great, what I would call the, you know, a Texas Hill Country deer, you know. It, got a lot of tines and it's just a great buck right here that is so cool that is so cool I mean center punch done done all the way around that is a cool deer look at that <laughs> that is so neat right like that I just love that sweep up right there of the, of the antlers This is an old Texas hill country whitetail right there. What a cool buck. And that is so unique. So unique right there. Congratulations, Wade, on an awesome Texas hill country buck entry into the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries. When we return, Wade will put down the rifle and grab his rattling antlers as Tony Mealy from the Performance Center is in camp hunting with a handgun. Stay tuned. The Yamaha Whitetail Diaries is brought to you by Smith & Wesson Performance Center. Performance when it matters most. Trijicon, brilliant aiming solutions. Conquest Sense, Hunt Sense, and Dog Training Sense. High vis shooting systems. See what you've been missing. Trade hours for seconds. The Thompson Center Compass II, a feature-rich rifle packed with value and a higher standard of reliable accuracy. Now with Generation 2 trigger and threaded muzzle, offered in scoped and non-scoped versions and in a wide variety of calibers, from the range to the fields to the mountains, TC has a rifle to match every hunter's needs. Welcome back to the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries with Wade Middleton. Well, it's the first week in December and Tony Mealy from the Performance Center is in camp during the peak of the rut for a rattling adventure. Unlike his previous trips to Texas, temperatures are in the mid 80s, which are hindering the deer movement. Conditions dictate so much of your hunting success, where you go, uh, the techniques, tactics that you might use, you know, when to hunt a stand and, and uh, where to move and when to move. And, and you know, rattling is no different. Yesterday afternoon, you know, I, you're not gonna shoot one sitting on the couch, so you go. But I knew that based on the temperatures in the 80s, kind of still very dry, we probably wouldn't have the best success. We did uh, 
you know, have, have one pretty decent encounter of a good buck that kind of was in a, a feeding area and came out, kind of circled us. Don't really know where he went after that. We had too many oaks in the way, but you know, we got out, got to see some things, and that type of data will also help us now this morning make a, make a plan. Uh, we're going to go set up on an area that's recently uh, been graded for a new road. Not too far from there is a couple of water troughs. Uh, it's really dry on that end of the ranch right now. You know, give that our first opportunity to see if we can't rattle one in because my past success in that area has been good. We haven't actually shot a deer there, but we've always rattled some in. We've had some encounters that have led us to, you know, get real close to that success. You know, Tony's hunting with 44 uh, from the Performance Center. We, we've seen in the past what he can do with that. So now it's just really our job to get one out in front of him and hopefully it'll turn broadside and get our heart pumping and, and we squeeze the trigger off. This morning we got set up here. Uh, weed started rattling, rattling a pretty good size one behind us. I couldn't turn around and take a shot at it, but it took off. Uh, a couple minutes later, he rattled again, he brought another buck in. I was about two ounces away from dropping a hammer on that thing, and it took off. You don't get a lot of time. It's a really quick uh, encounter, and off you went. The thing about rattling, you don't know what direction they're going to come from. We're kind of set up facing this old this old road right here, and we had one come all the way in. I mean, ten feet behind, but I didn't see him till it was too late. Couldn't tell anybody to move. I thought he was going to run down the road. I think the Merv 360 probably got shots of him, but I mean, he was so close that, that Michael's entire body was blocking him out. And then all of a sudden, they said, "There's one out in front of us." I turn around, and we got this big one out there ready to shoot. So that's the thing about rattling. It's exciting. You never know. When we return, Tony finally gets an opportunity to pull the trigger. The Yamaha Whitetail Diaries is brought to you by Thompson Center, America's master gun maker. Sawyer, we keep you outdoors. Record Rack, serious nutrition. Others decock. We do it safely. The new AccuSlide safe decocking system revolutionizes the crossbow market. Simply backwind the handle, stopping at any point without fear of damage, injury, or losing control. Meet the new Vengeant S440 and Viper S400 featuring the AccuSlide. Speed up to 440 feet per second, 5.8 inches wide. Its three and a half pound zero creep trigger delivers same hole accuracy. The Vengeant S440 and Viper S400 from 10 point. To me, the Performance Center by Smith & Wesson means taking the best and making it better. Regardless if I'm passing on the traditions of hunting or teaching someone new about the outdoors, 
I know that using a Performance Center handgun will be something they will remember for the rest of their lives. Every model comes with an awesome trigger. They're reliable in all the conditions, as well as offering a variety of sight and scope mounting capabilities. The Performance Center by Smith & Wesson. Performance when it matters most. Welcome back to the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries with Wade Middleton. After seeing plenty of activity in the morning and with the temperatures cooling off, Wade and Tony are feeling more confident as they set out for another rattling hunt. We're a little bit more confident in the fact that it's cooled off a little bit. We got a little breeze and uh, we'll probably get some action going. Uh, Wade took us to a, you know, a couple different spots and we keep trying different areas. Like I said, you're there 15, 20 minutes. If nothing's moving around or you did move some deer around and it just wasn't something you're gonna take, you're on to the next area. So we went three or four spots and then he says, hey, let's try this other, other place that we hunted there last year. And I do recall hunting in this area because we did have a lot of opportunities there. smack in front of me, 12 o'clock. Yeah, he's behind it for me too. right smack in front of me right now. You see him? I can't shoot him, he's behind that bush. You got him? He's right here. If anybody's ever saw some of the shows I've been on before, they've, they've heard me talk about the Performance Center 629 Hunter. It by and large is my favorite gun to go deer hunting with or pig hunting. Uh, it's great for whitetails, great for pigs. Gets the job done, they don't go too far. North American whitetail is just great, 44 Magnum, just great to hunt with. If you've hunted with a rifle, you hunt it with a bow, you know, you might want to think about trying handgun hunting. It's, it's really fun. I don't do anything but that now. I mean, very, very rarely you'll see me with a rifle or a bow for that matter. It's just, I've taken a handgun hunting, you know, 15, 20 years ago. And once I started, that was it. That's all I do. You know, for somebody that never rattled before, they've deer hunted, they've done it out of blinds or out of stands, uh, there's no comparison. I'd rather do this more than anything. It's, you're busy all the time. Like I said, you set up for about, you know, 20 minutes, you rattle, you get some deer coming in, and there's always some kind of action, and just a lot more fun than sitting in a blind waiting for something to show up. Congratulations, Tony, on a successful rattling entry into the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries. Well, that'll do it for this episode. See you next time.
I love my Fusion wireless camera. It is the easiest cell cam I've ever set up. Download the command app. Scan the QR code. Everything is done on your phone. All kinds of affordable and different data plans. For as little as $5 a month, you can have your trail cam pictures sent right to your cell phone. You can go into the app, you can change all the camera settings, you can change all the upload settings, and it's got a feature where you can map out where your cameras are. It shows you when the activity has been in front of your cameras. Check it out, the Fusion wireless camera from Stealth Cam. God made a deer farmer, a person who stays up at night to save a sick fawn's life, gets up and still goes to work at sunrise. This person works in the heat, the cold, and the rain. He needs to feed his animals, make sure they have water. If the water's frozen, he must break it so they can drink. He needed somebody to collect real scents and smells from deer, to provide hunting scents to the hunters so they could feed their families. So, God made a deer farmer. From sun up to sun down, day in and day out, we work hard, we play hard, and to keep us going during those long hours, we demand performance. Angle Coolers, the original high performance cooler. From the backwoods, to the backyard. Sawyer's Permethrin, odorless insect repellent, repels and kills mosquitoes, ticks, and other harmful insects. And with just one application lasting for up to six weeks, you can enjoy the outdoors as much as we do. <laughs> Sawyer, we keep you outdoors. It's in our nature to protect, defending our heritage, our way of life, and the ones we love. It's your right. Don't give it up. Protect it or lose it. Walkers. Want to know why the top shooting pros choose HiViz? HiViz has an enormous lineup of sights for every shooting platform possible that are clean looking and easy to mount. Improve your shooting with faster target acquisition and eliminate cross-eyed dominance. HiViz sights are the brightest out there, helping you find your target with ease no matter the shooting conditions. Choose the best, choose HiViz, and see what you've been missing. I came back from Afghanistan with a traumatic brain injury. I couldn't talk. I still can't talk right. I didn't want to leave the house. Then my wife, God bless her, she got me off the couch and said, hey, enough's enough. You got to get back outdoors. The hunting gave me a whole new purpose, you know. It sped up my recovery big time. When I was deployed, I trusted Trader Con, and I still do today. Sergeant Rob Gustafson, U.S. Army retired. Trader Con, brilliant aiming solutions. Money took the box blind industry by storm with the bull. Now they've taken it to the next level with the penthouse. Increased size, larger windows, insulated panels, and everything you've come to expect from an industry leader. Revolutionary designs for any weapon and any situation. Change the way you hunt with a box blind from Muddy Outdoors. Check out Muddy's full line of box blinds today at GoMoney.com.